Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the arpeggiator in Lagrange. Let's start on the bottom left. Um, there are the controls to activate uh, the arpeggiator. So let's click on it under the volume and also let's click the hold function so it will load the, the chord or chords are playing. Uh, <coughs> let's um, play a C7 chord to illustrate how the arpeggiator works. A C7 is made up of the following note C E G and B flat so let's play that chord let's open selecting the note symbol on the top right hand side the arpeggiator window here it is it is set to play um, four steps in length this can be adjusted for example I can double that It's set to play the style uh, in ascending order or up. This can be changed to play down. So you will reverse the order of the notes played. Up and down. Down up. <coughs> and run the sequence. Or also using a specific program. So we'll come back to it in a moment. Let's set it back to playing the up style. We can also select the loop length and illustrate how this works. Let's move this down to two. In this case, we'll play only the first two notes of the chord. Please note that if you change the style to up and down, it will play the first two notes of the in ascending order and also the first two notes in descending order. So in this case, C and E and then B flat and G. So, let's set um, uh, the steps to 16. Next, you can change the uh, swing if you like. Yeah. Next, you can change the octave. So, in this case, if I select it to go up my two additional octave, you can see. Select uh, more evident if I select the up style and I set the uh, loop length to 16 steps. So you can see it's going up by two additional octaves. Next, you can change the rate, you can increase this to 16. Then on the right side you have uh, dials to control the accent, gate and staccato parameters. Let's now set the style to program. So first of all let's increase the gate to the maximum. Button, you see when you see the number one here is where you can select which note of the chords to play in this case it's playing only the first note if I select on the second step to play the second note it will play the E if I tell him to play on the third step the third note it will play the G and so on and so forth You can also select to change the octave for particular steps in this way. And also, if you want to apply a staccato effect, of effect for example, where Ok, 
little notes and stops. You can obviously also implement the glide effect and also decide where to accentuate a note. I suggest you use the key sync function here on the top right hand side so you can um, set it to um, synchronize the play of the arpeggiator when you change the chords. Let's test it. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.